Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Braden Timmons, and today we are freaking finally able to review Voorhees. Two and a half years in the making, and Misael and I finally had a chance to see it last night at the world premiere event. We are here at our hotel in Washington, D.C. The premiere was up in Winchester, Virginia. We were told to fly into D.C., so, <laughs> so um, we had to come all the way back down here today, but we saw the movie last night. Uh, we, again, attended the world premiere, got these awesome posters. Cody Felk, the director, signed it. Um, it is uh, directed by Cody Felk and written by him and uh, by Christopher, Chris, I guess, Chris Ploshin. I hope I said that correctly. But either way, guys, Misael's joining me on this review. Misael, what did you think of the premiere event, and what did you think of Voorhees? Uh, well, man, I gotta tell you, um, it was a whole three-day trip for us. Um, I've, like Braden, I'm I, like I'm sure, um, I've always wanted to attend a movie premiere. You know, it was a huge bucket list thing. Uh, happy to scratch that off my bucket list. It was a great time. It was really fun. Everybody, everybody, everybody was incredibly nice and super, super just welcoming and friendly. And as for the movie, so it's a fun ass time. Yeah, dude, it really is. And like you were saying, man, everyone, like I told them this weekend, like we were going to be meeting so many really cool people. I just wasn't expecting the amount of cool people that we were actually going to meet. Yeah. I mean, everybody here was freaking fantastic. Yeah, like they, were, they were so nice. They were so welcoming, whether it be Vori's fans that have been following the Facebook group for literally the longest time, whether it be cast members, whether it be, uh, you know, cast members of other projects that were here. Mike Shabanti, who is the composer of Charles, uh, another fan film that's coming I had a chance to meet and, you know, he was great. But let's start talking about Vori's man, yes. because this this was Vori's' night. Um, seeing Jason on the big screen again was probably the biggest treat for me because obviously, as many of you guys know, Friday the 13th has been in that freaking rut for the last like eight years. They've been in freaking court trying to argue who has the rights to the franchise. So we have not gotten to get any Jason. That's why these Friday the 13th fan films are incredibly popular nowadays. And Voorhees, man, it honestly, there are some things in this movie that literally blew me away. I, and I mean, I, I genuinely mean that. Like, in terms of, like, shock value, there was a couple of scenes, like, that I just was not expecting to see. I wasn't even thinking about it, actually, because none of it was in any of the trailers, which, thank God. Thank you, Mr. Falk. Thank you for leaving a lot of the key elements out of the trailers. Guys, I'm telling you right now, if you've seen the trailers of Voorhees, they are much different than how the movie goes. But, oh shit, I should probably give a, like, synopsis, right? Like, you know, that's probably yeah, how yeah. That's probably how we I'll should have started it. But, you know, besides the shock stuff, Voorhees tells the story of a group of criminals that goes to Camp Crystal Lake because they believe that they have committed the perfect heist. And when they get there, they have to remain isolated on Camp Crystal Lake for an entire night. And that's all they have to do, like for the cops not to find them or anything like that. They just have to stay there. But then they run into Jason and all hell breaks loose, man. And I gotta say, man, what did you think of the originality? Because I thought the originality, I thought that was awesome. Well, yeah, that's what I really wanna touch on. Um, I personally, I didn't see any trailers. Um, I stayed away from it. Uh, I, I probably saw the first one when it came out, you know, years ago. So I don't have that good of a memory. I know Braden showed, sent the, the final one. I didn't watch it. I like going in as blind as possible. Um, especially if, since knowing that we were going to attend a premiere of a film, I was like, you know what, as blind as possible. Um, yeah, that's, that's something that really, really took me by, by surprise because, um, you know, as, as good as Friday the 13th films are, even the best ones, they're kind of all like, you know, run of the mill, like kind of the same, samey. Um, but this one had like, it's, what's biggest surprise are it, it's characters. Um, like he said, it's, it's, it's on, it's based, it's, it's centers. I can't speak. <laughs> it centers the on these, yeah, on these group <laughs> of criminals, you know, like he said, committing, committing the perfect heist, and then they're like, you know what, we need to, now we need to be in hiding, pick the absolute worst place to go into hiding, um, and it, it doesn't, that's not just, you know, there just to be there, it's, it's like fleshed out, 
in throughout the film, you know, and you get to know these people who aren't so, like aren't the best of people, you know, like they're, they're not. Uh, they're, they're all complete <laughs> douchebags. Yeah, yeah. They all deserve to get yeah, killed yeah. by Jason. <laughs> and Jason is there to take care of freaking business is what he's there to do. <laughs> like, so, challenge, challenge no, no, well, I mean, I, I think that it's like, what do you call it? It's kind of funny that, you know, like you were saying, like, it's not the safest place because they actually do say that in the trailer. Like that one dude, he goes, so this place we're going, it's safe. Right? And, you know, it's like, no, absolutely the heck yeah. not. <laughs> like, I mean. Man, they learned that very quickly. But... And this Jason that they got, man, I got to say, like, he's terrifying. Like, he is genuinely scary as shit. If I saw this dude coming at me, man, like, I think he's, what, like, 6'7", like, 260 pounds, man. Yeah. Like, he, there, again, like, I can't spoil anything. The spoiler for your review. Yes. But, yes. but guys, there are things in this movie that like just my jaw was like on the ground for him. specifically like I'll, I'll say like you know when when you Careful. see i'm not gonna Careful. say anything don't worry like when you see jason for the first time yeah it's great but like throughout the course of the movie like it just things get more and more shocking like that's all i'll say um yeah um yeah uh, even though you know even though this movie gets a lot of points for its its story and and its characters that we've never seen in a friday the 13th film before um the reason people are going to want to watch this is because they want to see jason and man they deliver like just and it, like, all the props go to you know the the makeup the actor um the effects amos effects everybody yeah amos, amos effects, effects. Holy follow shit. them on social media yeah. i had a chance to meet the guys behind the special effects and everything like that. Guys, they are so cool. They work so hard to get everything that they need to they're, done. Yeah, they're incredible. Like, be on the lookout for them because I guarantee you this is going to be the first of many projects that they're going to be involved in, and it was awesome. 150%. Also, Adrian, Iman, man, your score. Holy shenanigans, man. It was awesome. Got to give props to him. Uh, and this is the only thing I'll say about Haddonfield Nightmare during this review, but... Adrian is also doing the score for Haddonfield Nightmare, and now I cannot wait to see what he's going to do with a Michael Myers movie next, like, yes. right? Yeah. But Adrian, man, seriously, hats off to you. I thought that, you know, your score was very, very fun throughout the course of the movie. Is fun the right word for a score? Like, it I mean, is. It, like, it, yeah. It's engaging. Yeah, because, like, without music, it's like there, there is no movie. But mm -hmm. I did think that it was a very, very, you know, fun score yeah so definitely really enjoyed that and i mean the cinematography man like this is a very grainy movie you know like uh even like which is which is absolutely perfect for this yeah yeah like it's it's a grainy film but i think it doesn't distract from the movie because you can tell that that was the vibe that they were going for mm -hmm. you know like absolutely. even some of the older friday the 13th films are pretty grainy so you know i think that this was really great and guys be on the lookout for a lot of the easter eggs from the friday the 13th franchise that is within this movie mm -hmm. there, there are good ones and it doesn't it doesn't you know it doesn't like they're not cheap ones where it's like focused on that like it's just more the icing on the cake and and you got to give a shout out to the, like the directive team and, and everything for like doing that because that that's awesome because you can easily make easter eggs a little too much but they do not do that here. It works. It's organic to the story. I love it. Um, and yeah, all the characters are honestly great. There's some that we didn't even touch on that I don't want to say because it's a lot of fun meeting them when you get further into the story. Um, I can't. I can't. I can't say anything else besides I, that. I, I know, dude. Like, it... it's also hilarious. There's there's parts that had us cracking up laughing the whole theater too. There was some good comedy in this yes. movie. There was some good comedy that I actually you know laughed at. Guys, the ending I do gotta say that it did get like a standing yes is, whatever the hell you call standing it standing ovation a standing ovation. I had a few beers before this. <laughs> no, uh, it did have a standing ovation. Like it was great to see, man. I've known Cody here for a couple years, and just to see the night that this had, it was absolutely magical to be involved with it. Um, and I was overall very happy with it. In terms of negatives, because there's like nothing. It's like obviously no movie is perfect, right? Except Alien. Maybe, maybe Alien is pretty. It's pretty perfect. You know, <laughs> that, was, that was a random choice, but okay. <laughs> I mean, Alien is. I mean, okay. I like it. Or okay. Aliens, you know. I don't freaking know. Um, <laughs> do you have another perfect movie if we're talking about perfect films? 
Yeah, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> That's a discussion for, not, for, this, for this review. Yeah, no, we don't want to get too sidetracked. Um, <laughs> what do you call it? In terms of negatives, there, uh, I can't even say that because uh, it's like at the ending, you know, we were yeah, talking yeah, about there, it. There's, there, there's, there's just some. I, I believe us, we, there's still a lot that we want to talk about mm -hmm. um, good. Okay, that, here, here's what, a, that would spoil it. We don't want so to. So, here, here's what I will say even though I do enjoy the characters a lot in this movie, I do wish that a couple of them might have been fleshed out just a little bit more, you know, because there, there's a lot of characters in this movie. So uh, there's a couple of them that I wish might have just been a little more fleshed out, but I get it, man. It's it's a low budget um, and stuff like that. Uh, so there's really nothing you can do. I do. I'm curious to see what some of the deleted scenes are going to be on the Blu-ray because I feel like that maybe a couple of those scenes added into the film maybe could have made it, uh, expanded on them a little bit more. But overall, guys, like in terms of negatives, I really don't have a whole lot of them. Um, I mean, I think the cinematography looks great for the most part. So there are some shots where I feel like that it's like a little blurry in, in a few shots, but it didn't really take anything away. But that's all I have in terms of like negatives when it comes down to the movie. Um, do you have any like negatives that you feel like that maybe? Uh, could no, be, like, not really. Um, you, you, you pretty much said it. Um, they're, they don't really take away from the movie that much. Honestly, it's, if you you want a good time, a Friday the Thirteenth film, get get your friends that are huge fans, sit down and watch this. It's a lot of fun with a group of people. You guys will have a blast. Yeah, man, it's going to be out this upcoming Saturday on Halloween. So if you guys have no plans for Halloween, I know that this has been a shit show mm -hmm. of a year. Mm -hmm. So if you have no plans for Halloween or anything like that. Definitely sit down, watch Voorhees. I think you guys are going to have... I think you guys are in for a treat, man. I, I do think, it, like, everything goes to the cast and the crew. Cody felt for working so yeah, damn you, hard to bring this story to that's life. That's the big highlight for me is you can feel... You can even feel the passion and everything that involves in this movie. Like, you can feel all of it. And I know part of that is... We're, I'm sure people are going to say that this is a little biased because we attended the review or we, we attended the premiere and all that stuff. Yes, but at the same time... You can feel it, the passion and and, and the and the love for this franchise in this movie, and that's huge, and and that's awesome, and you it made it that much more enjoyable. Exactly, man. Like you know, I again, it just all goes back into it. Cody himself, dude, he even said that. I mean, if anyone's been following this for a while, you guys know that this was supposed to come out last year at some mm -hmm. point, but Cody made the executive decision to push off on a release date until he felt comfortable with, you know, just the movie in general. Like, so it could be completely done. It could be completely scored and sound great. And I mean, um, yeah, I, I had a really great time with Voorhees. I mean, I'm going to give it an A. Like, you know, I think that it gets a fucking A. Yeah. I mean, it's, I think, one of the best Friday the 13th movies, period. This is better than a couple of the films within the franchise, which says a lot. So, you know, I mean, I enjoyed the shit out of it. I'm giving it an A. I, I don't know what, what you're going to give it, but, you know. Um, I say it's a fun time. I don't I don't like doing letter grades, especially not right off the bat, because I, I need something. I need to soak it in for a little more, and we just saw this. I'm gonna. I'm definitely going to watch it again when it comes out on Halloween. And um, and then we'll do a spoiler review together. Yes. Then he can give you his grade, you yes. know. But, I mean, as of right now, man, first, I mean, I saw it. I just saw it last night. I've had a little bit of time to reflect on it. Uh, but as of right now, man, it gets an A. Uh, I, I really, really enjoyed it. I think that everybody involved with this project should be very proud Absolutely. of what they were able Absolutely. to accomplish. Um, like, man, dude, there, there are just so many things. Uh, so many things I want to fucking say that I, I just yeah. can't. I can't right now. We're geeking out a couple times. Holy shit, dude! Which is something we haven't. Was that something we haven't done in a while? No, man. Like there are just like some moments, jaw on the ground, and you know, just freaking watch it. Watch it on Halloween. So with that being said, post comments down below. Let us know if you're excited to see Voorhees. What What are your guys' thoughts on it? If you guys did attend the premiere, if you attended the premiere and you're watching this damn review and you spoil anything, I'm coming after you. Don't do that. Coming after you. Do I, I will come up to come up, down, sideways, wherever the hell you are, <laughs> just to hand it to you. Um, but... <laughs> 
Yes, yeah, not the only one that fucking clears. <laughs> but yeah, guys, leave your guys' comments in the comment section. We'd absolutely love to read them. And if you guys like this, don't forget to join me on my journey to 5,000 subscribers. And yep, check out these sick ass posters that you guys didn't get. <laughs> I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. And we'll see you guys in, in the next video.